Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part one of our Selenium automation with C Sharp. And in this part, we're going to introduce Selenium with C Sharp along with some of the differences between Selenium C Sharp and Selenium with Java. So we have already discussed about Selenium with Java in our Execute Automation channel as two playlists. One is Selenium Framework Design and Development and another one is Selenium Tidbits. If you need to learn more about Selenium with Java, I would request you to watch these two playlists. If you already have the information on Selenium with Java, then no problem. You can continue listening. So C Sharp is yet another language binding for Selenium. That's it. So if you ask me what Selenium C Sharp is, it's not a complete different alien or gene altogether. It is just yet another language binding. So this language binding will be updated along with a Java project. So there are a few other major language bindings like Ruby, Python and JavaScript for Node.js. All those language bindings will be updated along with Java project. So then what is the difference between C sharp and Java? So what is the major difference between C sharp and Java language binding? I would say it's nothing. So then what is the difference? It's just a language difference along with some changes here and there to support new Firefox browser or Chrome, etc. in both of these languages. And if you see the change log of these two language bindings, you can see there will be some difference between these change logs. In C sharp language binding, it says that there is some Firefox browsers updates are missing whereas in uh, Selenium with the Java binding you can see there is some other updates available like Firefox the latest version support etc so then what is the difference between the languages as I told in Java the interface web driver is called as just web driver whereas in C sharp we call it as I web driver Similarly, in Java, we call it web element, whereas in C sharp, we call it as I web element. So in C sharp, the convention of interface is this. If you are going to declare an interface, just prefix I before the name of the interface. That's it. And that's the only name changes. But other than that, the functionality is very, very same. Similarly, in Java, we call it as annotations for finding an element in page object model as at find by. Whereas in C sharp, we call it as attributes and we declare it as square brackets like this. So these are some of the minor differences that you can see between these two languages. Now the next thing you can see the difference in change log of these language bindings. Let me explain you how it looks like. So I'm going to open the seleniumhq.org website right now. So this is a website and if you go to the download link, here you can see the different language bindings available for Selenium web driver and there are some of the change logs for Java and C sharp. Let me just open these uh, language bindings change logs and you can see that for Java version 2.45 you can see there is some important changes in this release like native element in Firefox relayed on an API that my Mozilla no longer supports. Whereas if you see this guy, the C sharp guy, there is a completely different kinds of features being implemented. Right? But most of the features might be there already in C sharp but might not have implemented in Java or the reverse one. And the other thing is if you see the versions of all these language bindings, it's all very same. It is 2.45 and here in C sharp it's 2.45. Similarly for Ruby it is 2.45. So everything is the latest and the greatest versions for all the language bindings. So C Sharp has more sophisticated IDE, that is Visual Studio, which gives you more faster development and debugging experience compared to Java Eclipse. Well, it can be a complete reverse to some other people as well. But I personally prefer Visual Studio IDE as the most sophisticated integrated development environment experience than compared to Eclipse. Well, Visual Studio comes with cost, whereas Eclipse is free, and that's the major difference. So, other than that, I don't see any difference between Java, Selenium versus C Sharp, Selenium. It's all pretty same. So, what are we going to discuss then? Well, we'll start our discussion with some of the installation part, writing some simple programs, writing some custom libraries, 
writing page object models and data driven testing with C sharp selenium in this whole series. So this is the only discussion which we are going to do. If you have already watched my videos on selenium with Java, then these programs and these discussions that we are going to do are going to be very very same to you if you already watched then just skip this video completely so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day